my outfit. So this is the Madewell Double Gauze Safari Romper. It's so cute. Let me do a quick like 360 for you. Uh, this one is by Madewell. It's actually on sale right now. So just by tuning into this live stream, you get 15% off. It's already added. So you can get that on top of the already sale going on for this one. So as you can see, the fabric is like this really, really nice like cloud material. That's what I like to call it. I actually don't know the proper name for this, but for me, it looks like a cloud. Um, it's really, really soft, really breathable, lightweight. It definitely has the safari vibes with like the cut of the top part of it and the pockets here, which I think it's like a really cute touch. And um, it has like these little ties here. So you basically button, get in, and then um, these little ties, you can adjust it. So you can either wear it like kind of loose so it feels good, or you can accentuate your waist more, tying it tighter. It's super adjustable. And that's what I really love about it because then you can just wear it out if you're going out to like lunch, dinner, um, wearing this. You'll have like enough room when you're too full, you know, with your food baby. Um, but yeah, and there's pockets in here, which I really love. I think the pockets are a really nice touch. I feel like not a lot of rompers have pockets. Um, I personally like having pockets sometimes because I don't like bringing a bag. Um, and then here are the sleeves. They're already like pre um, folded onto here. They're, they're sewed on on the bottom part. So you you can wear it unfolded, but it's a little weird. So there's the little folding detail. Super cute. And it's super flattering. And something that I do suggest with this romper is it does run bigger. So I just went with like... I almost went with a medium, but I decided to go with the small because it's pretty oversized. So if you're looking for a more like kind of fitted, kind of loose size, um, go with your normal size. But if um, I wouldn't size up in this, honestly, you could size down um, because it's super, super oversized. And I think because I size down, it like fits me better. But yeah, that's something to note if you do get this romper is that it runs big. So keep that in mind. But um, yeah, and it's a really good length on, on me. I like how the shorts aren't too short. They're like right at like right above my knees. Not too short though. I'm also like 5'3 for reference. So I think this is like a good length on me. And I really like how flattering it looks. So recommend getting a romper. Rompers are also like so great for summer because they're just so easy to style. I've been wearing this one nonstop because I'm like, I've been so like, I don't know what to wear. And when you have those days, throw on a romper because it makes you look really put together. Anyways, moving on with the makeup. So I'm just gonna keep talking here. Um, but yeah, so romper is super easy to style. You can dress it up, dress it down. I would honestly wear this with like you could wear this with a pair of heels. I paired mine with some platform docks and that gave it a really edgy look. Or you could pair it with like chunky sandals for like a more casual look as well. I think rompers are just super versatile. They're like one of my favorite things to style just because they're so easy. And they just like, you always look put together. Every single time I've worn rompers, I always get compliments um saying like oh my gosh like where'd you get that from your outfit's so cute you can never go wrong um so yeah recommend it um it's also lightweight like I mentioned so I like said especially since it's been so hot I'm from LA so in LA it's been like really really hot so this has been nice to just throw on I even like wearing it as a bathing suit cover-up. I've worn it over my bathing suit once to the beach and it was really cute and really easy to like take on and off and maneuver. Okay, so I just put on some like tinted moisturizer and then now I'm gonna put on some 
blush I don't I really like the glowy look so for me I don't like putting on powder just because I think it looks better with your skin looking glowy and natural so I'm gonna put on some blush I like to put on so much freaking blush um yeah I find I find that creamy blushes work the best in getting like a really nice glow it looks like I'm putting on a lot but it's because this is like a a lighter blush shade so I, I really want to get the rosy look and I like to put it on like right here I've seen a lot of people do this and I think it looks really cute on okay it looks crazy right now but don't worry it's gonna be blended out um but yeah so if you're really looking to get like that natural glowy look which is my personal favorite look go with creamy base products um because I feel like that just like blends the most natural onto your skin and it just makes you look like you're glowing from within so I like the little rosy kind of like I got a little sun kiss kind of look so I like to keep my makeup super minimal so that's what I want to do today but I'm gonna like accentuate it more by putting on some eyeliner because eyeliner makes a huge difference to your makeup look so I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side I just like to go overkill on the blush. Um, okay. Putting on some more blush. There we go. And then we are going to put on mascara. Um, actually, no. If you're putting on eyeliner, you should put that on next. But let's continue. So 